That's what I'm saying. That's all. Oh, he's right here. Look, 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 look. I nice. Oh my god. I got hit. I got hit. 80. Hit the white. Nice. Kill the Come here. Jumping down. Dead. Me ammo. Take now. Take what? I'm going down. I'm going down. Only have one mech yet, so that's probably. Don't fight. Don't fight. Let's get on top. Yeah. Get nothing to give him. I don't know. He's gonna get the kill. He's gonna get the kill. Hey, yo, Pierce, this shit high, boy. Nice. Go, bro. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video, and in today's video, me and my duo called for the duo cash up finals. We placed 19th overall, and I'll be bot reviewing our best three games in high elo lobbies, as our 22 kill win was at low elo lobby. I will be breaking down every situation we encounter, and what you'll need to do in these situations in order to perform the best. I make these videos for people that are trying to improve, and if you're one of those people, make sure to watch the entire video as you don't want to miss any key moments. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so the first game I'm about reviewing is the game that we won with like about 8 kills. Um, we land lavish every single game. We never land somewhere else. Every single game we land lavish. Um, we usually make sure we get the bot. We rarely dip off. I think we got the bot 10 out of 10 games in this tournament. But yeah, so we get a good drop. We land there. We always have the best drop. As you can see, it's conned by one team. So it's only a 2v2 off spawn. Off spawn, we normally do good. As you can see, we're trying to insta-kill him, so we don't have to worry about them after this game. So we, and we know that they're camping here because we heard visuals, and we know they don't have much shield, and I see him right there. So we kill this kid quick. And that's how you win off spawn at Lavish. You get a free bot, free mythic, and free medallion. Easiest 50 shield you can get of your life. So I won't be bot reviewing every single part of off spawns. I, if you guys want another video for that, I can do that. But I'm just gonna save time here. We're just gonna move on to the kills, mid game, and then just end game. Okay, so my audio is bugged right now, I guess. It just bugged in the replay, but here we are just fighting a team because uh, we saw a team and we beamed them. But we're fighting here and then we're gonna try to go for a cash right after this. I hit this guy 100. We know they're not the best players or best fighters. I kill one. Hit the other guy 150. I know he's one tap. Get the finish and then we're just gonna kill this guy after. One HP. As you can see, I'm not just running at him because my teammate is healing. He told me he's healing, so there's no point of running at him. And then once my teammate's up, I try fighting him. I full jump in now. He hits me for a hard pump, but I secure the fight there. And then knowing that this is a high elo lobby, you guys don't need a full key like this, but I'm just saying we saw a free kill and we have medallion, so it's really hard to lose a fight. And this is a high elo game, so like chimp, um, a lot of good kids are in this game. Uh, another tip, if you guys do land lavish, is always block off this little hut here. This hut right here, there's always kids that camp inside or on the top right here. Uh, happened many, many times in FNCS right here. Uh, we won almost every fight doing this. What we would do is put brick ramps like this and wall wall. But here, the chance of someone being in here is really, really low. As uh, we already ended the fight and there should not be kids here. Like, realistically, at this point in the zone, yeah, there really shouldn't. And as soon as you're done with the off spawn, you guys need to start moving to center zone so you guys can pull next zone. Especially if you guys don't have grapplers. But here in this situation, I'm pretty sure we both have grapplers. Usually, you see some cra people carrying crash pads. Uh, we usually like grapplers a lot more than crash pads, but crash pad fizz is pretty good too. That's a really good option too, if you guys have six crash pads and a fizz. The only reason I don't like it is because I accidentally double tap my space and I just crash pad, so that's why you normally carry grapplers, it'll be fine. And then here, we're just EMPing for gold so we can buy max bags before we leave. We always do this, because it's just free shield, why not? Just get three extra bigs. You can also buy med kits here, you can buy anything. 
So moving on later into the game, it did pull Lavish Lair. We knew these kids were bad underneath us because I've never heard of them before. And we had them on a bounty. I snipe this guy right here. He's one HP, but I kill him. It's just a free kill. I go for the bats. And we are sitting on Lavish right now because as you can see on zone, it pulled Lavish and we have an island here. So island, we can just riff. So when, as soon as we saw the island spawn there and we were near Lavish, we were like, yeah, we can just chill here. And then we can just rift last second. We just need a box on a rift eventually. And if there is no rifts there, we can still go up to the top of the island and just hit the pad. Uh, that's still a good option too, but usually there is a rift left. As you can see, before going to the loot, I'm going to my teammate, asking him if I can go for the loot. Looking for extra, extra stuff. And then I go for the loot. Uh, even though there's nothing on it, and I knew there was nothing on it because I sniped them for white. I still could get extra mats because I need a little bit metal. So moving on to the end game here, this duo cash cup had updated surge. So it was different surges. So it was like 34, 40 something. I don't remember. I think it was 36, 44. I'm not sure. I was just looking for snipes here, but realistically, I do not need this at all because we already had max surge from all the kills we got. So if there was going to be 30 something surge or 30 pop surge, you're not going to need it here. We're center zone here. We got a really good position because we went early after we rifted. And this is chilling. You're, you're full of chilling here. Here, nobody would even have to open your cone. Like, you just need to make sure nobody sprays at you for, um, surge. So here, I would not look at all. I'm looking here because maybe I can get a free kill, and I'm a really good sniper. See, I sniped that guy again. So here, re and, like, realistically, if you were, like, not the best player, and you're really, like, getting good points right now, I would not look at anything, especially when you have this much surge. There's no, no need. Because placement points are a lot more than kill points. You don't need that many kills, I'm not going to lie. I know it's a cash cup. You can, you're going to need like decent kills, but you're not going to need something crazy. All right, so here, we're just waiting for next zone. We're still center zone. We're just waiting for next zone because we can easily just insta grapple to it. Uh, and I'll be moving on to end game since this is really self-explainable. Uh, if you want a mid game video, you can let me know. But this is pretty self-explainable. Really like easy rotate. All right, so moving on to end game here. Uh, Surge realistically is not going to pop because it's almost already at 30, so we were vibing. Uh, we pulled a max zone here. We won this game, but we did pull many max zones. So zones don't make you win or break a game, but they definitely can scuff your game. So we see nobody looking. There's nobody on right side, so we just get a free rotate in. We are on a pretty bad spot. We're on a low layer, but it's all good because we can grapple up eventually later on. Here we tarp out a little bit out of metal because we don't want to be sitting on the bottom low ground. Especially this time in the game. As you can see, we're 1500 surge above, so we're vibing on surge. We rotate in. We only had to grapple once because we're already close to the zone after you hit the right side rotate. Here, my teammate said he full box someone, but I tried getting in and nobody was there, so it's all good. We had really good mats at this point. It says I have zero builds, but that's a bug. We had really good mats. Here, I'm just following my IGL. He tells me where to go. Here, it's chilling. This is a decent spot. I 200 pumped this guy because he just ran into my ramp. He got more mats off that. He tarps through here. Most people would grapple here, but since we have a good amount of mats, we just tarp in because we don't want to die this early. He just keeps building. He builds out of metal. I drop mats every, like, probably like a minute he needs. As you can see, we're never low ground. We're always like mid ground until really close to the end. Like once he gets towards the end, you can play low ground. Like here, he told us to go low ground. Everyone else had the same idea, but it was fine. It was fine. I 200 this guy. I told him getting in. Yep. Chill. Three mats. And then we just play low ground here. At this time, like this time in the game, this is a good spot to play like low mid, like or mid ground. Low could be a really good spot on this. I see the kids there. I go out to the left. Then. Run through this. I got hit by a medallion, so I just popped thick. And then we just get full grief here. Oh, that's all good. He still lives. So I have to go ahead. As you can see right there, if my IGL is not with me, right? Like if you have someone that's normally tarping and he says like, I got dropped down or I got, I can't get to you. 
it is your job to go ahead. Like, it's still your job to go ahead. Like, if, if he's gone, like, you have to just play solo. Like, you have to, like, go ahead, build ahead, make sure he can get in your box, but play solo. Like, see, I built a 2x2 two two here, and he, he got to me, eventually. See? He was low, but he still got to me, so it's worth it. You, you, had, you have to do it. You can't just wait for him to tarp ahead, because or else you're dead and you're, like, last person in the zone. Here he was one. I dropped a medallion, and we played medkits here. And this is how we flank tight. It's a really good idea if uh, you know how to flank height after medkits. Here we flanked height. It was chimp on height. Just sat up right now. We saw someone flanking us from the back. My teammate saw it. So, he had good awareness there. Missed the shot. Here we're in zone. We didn't have crazy mats. But we knew that everyone on low ground was scuffed because that guy just popped his floppers and we knew that kid was decent at the game. Because why would he flank after getting height? Here it was a uh, 1v2. And I dropped down. I dropped to make sure he had medkit. And then as soon as he ended this wall, I realized he had no medkit. And he just ran at me. So he had no medkit. He grappled up. And then my teammate killed him. So basically this is just a free win as long as you play it completely normal. Like play it perfectly. This game was played really, really nicely. Oh, some of the rotates could have been better when he went through like in like between like two boxes, but it's all good. When we only got boxed like once from that. But yeah, this is first game. Uh, this is a really good example because we won the game. And then yeah, let's get right into the next game. All right, so for the second game I'm botting, uh, this was a really good game. There was decent kids in this game. Um, so we had Victor V, we had um, Flo, Donnie, Aviv and Booga. That kid's washed. Skeeter. That's pretty decent. Back City, this is a really bad player, but you know what I'm saying. Um, TK in there too, but this game we got, I think it was top six or four. I think it was top four. Uh, this was a decent game because as long as you're those top sixes, top sevens turn into top like fives or fours, then this will give you like an extra 10 points. So here. Uh, getting into this game right here, uh, as you can see, my teammate doesn't land on a gun. He lands on the top. He thought he saw a gun, but he doesn't land on it. Uh, we were conned by a team. So I heard him right underneath me by himself. So I just ran at him with an AR and killed him. And I knew who it was. So after knowing that he died, and then I was looking for his teammate, I, I knew he was going to try to run. Because he knew that I'll camp the card because he knows who I am. So. <sighs> he fully ran. As you can see, the pink marker bottom right. He just fully dipped. Uh, later on, I looked through a window. And then I see him over here. I think I do eventually. You want to just make sure he's not camping. And then I see him over here. As you can see, I, I'm about to see him in a second. Here I see him on top of the mountain. I make sure it's the same skin. I don't shoot at him because you're just too far. So knowing he left, we insta-kill the bot. And um, while I'm spraying at him, my teammate's killing the bot quickly. Since I told him he fully like dip. So we know we can get the bot free and then insta-go down to the vault. So I get the medallion bigs and then I insta-drop. My teammate always gets the mythic drum. We didn't have much mats here. I had to build out a wood, but usually I'd build two boxes outside of the vault. So in this situation, most of the time, I'm the one looting the vault while my teammate stays outside and watches because realistically he all he needs is ammo and I normally get the gold so I, I need the sniper from this vault because I always carry sniper so it's better for me to just go in the vault than him because I could just split him ammo whatever he needs and then buy bigs with the gold that I'm getting right now make sure you guys always farm this gold because it gives you so much because you need bigs unless you get EMPs then you make sure you need to farm this gold so since there's not since I didn't get many kills mid game, I'm gonna move straight on to end game. So moving on to end game, uh, I see this crash pad. I hit it because my teammate went ahead of me, and I'm right in front of him. We do get beamed here because we're just sitting on wood right now. But I wait for my uh, medallion to heal me, and then I pop a big, and then we go. Or actually, I don't pop a big. I wait for medallion. Just wait back. It's fine to wait back a little bit because you need a heal or you need to get shield. On the rotate, I'm looking for a snipe. 
It's not the best idea. But if I could get a headshot snipe on the rotate, we just get free loot. Because this game, I'm pretty sure we needed a little bit of mats. We were like a little bit scuffed this game. We saw a solo there. We saw a skater. He was a solo. So we were thinking about fighting him, but we didn't really need it right now. It wasn't worth just getting lobbied for. So if you are an IGL, I see as soon as uh, zone pulls, my teammates are already looking for a rotate on cones. So if you are the IGL, you should definitely um, be doing that. I sniped a guy right there with Rexo. It might have been a free kill, so I looked at it. But he killed a guy here. He killed Webster. So we got a free kill there. That was his teammate. And that kid was 1 HP killing over there. We should have looked at that. But we just went in. Perfectly fine. Really wasn't worth it because that was pulling in. We don't want to die there just for two extra points for kills. So I, I went ahead. I told him get to me because that spot wasn't the best. And I knew that from past experiences. So here, as you can see on the map, we're right here. If we were right there, we would be in this whole entire area where this everyone is looking here instead of... Like, these people could look at us, but most likely these kids are going to look here. Because nobody's going to look on this corner. Like, most likely. They would just look straight. Just look at all the kids' backs up. So we grapple right there. I'm vibing. I build a box for myself. And then he builds a box for himself. I snipe height. I knew they were bad as soon as I sniped him because he was still looking after for some reason. I don't know why. I I'm not sure. I think I sniped him twice, but I saw him drop down. But we didn't really need uh, height this early because it's still th 37 kids alive. So we weren't greedy for height yet. You usually just flank it later on or we just go up later on. But I get to my teammate. We're 160 above here. We're definitely low on mats, so we need to get a kill because we use so much of our hearts. He did get hit a little bit. I gave him a medallion. But we were trying to look for a kill at the same time, go in zone. We still were healthy, so we knew we could do it easily. And as you can see, even though we're 100 above, we're, we're not looking at all because we know we'll like, be chilling on Surge or it'll probably die out till 30. But here he sees a solo, he thinks about fighting him, but we couldn't because he dropped down. And then I box this kid, I get the kill. Uh, he got the mats on top, try to get him out there. Good. Get to him, I hold for him. He's 1 HP, but it's all good because he got the mats, he tarped the head, and uh, he needs to just heal his med kit. Oh, uh, in duos, make sure one one person carries three med kits at all times. Like the best loadout is three bigs, three med kits, and then three bigs, a sniper for the other guy, or just three bigs, three med kits too, or six bigs. I carry three bigs, a sniper. He carries three bigs, a med kit. I see this guy in zone. Maybe tag for free kill. I got the kill. Try to get the mats, but I couldn't get it. I'm popping a big to make sure I'm um, max HP. Look for this kill. He's lucky, he gets on the floor. I get the kill though. So we did get extra mats there, so we we're chilling right now. Saw this kid get beamed, he got the kill. Pretty sure I grabbed the mats there. Just invisible in replays, I think. And then we, I'm pretty sure we tried playing a medkey here. Yeah, we played a medkey here, and I think we might have tried flanking height. I'm not sure. Like, at this point, you should definitely look for it. But. Yeah, we grappled there. We couldn't play height, I don't think. We tried looking for it, but they were fighting for it. So I dropped down. At this point, I had no mats. So I just got a kill there. Just running around. 100 on the other guy. I died. And then my teammate clutches up, I think. Yeah, he had more med kits, so he was playing zone longer than me. Kill that kid. 
And then I'm pretty sure he goes down. Yep. So that was a free top four. Um, that was a really good game. We played it really decent. One thing we could have did was try sticking together, maybe get an extra kill. Um, or maybe carry medkits over sniper if I found an extra body. So I could have played two with him. But yeah, on to the next game. Alright, so this is our last game that we played. Um, we were conned by Clicks and Epic Whale. I want me to them both off spawn. We had to win off spawn, or else we basically wouldn't call. We could have queued another game, but we just had to win off spawn. This game was the best out of all the games. We got top six in this game. We had Acorn, Cool, Peterbot, Poyo, Clicks, Epic, Us, Bacon, TK. Literally everyone was in this game. Uh, a lot of good kids in this game. Uh, but yeah. We got top six this game, so this is probably one of the other best games to bot review because it's not a bot game. Alright, so once we land on spawn, we know we have like three minutes to queue if we do die. So we're just going to 50-50 the fight. We don't have that much health and shield because they beam me out the sky. But we know we just have to kill them or else we're just going to have to queue another game. So I have a shotgun and I think an AR SMG and I just, I just go in even though I'm 1 HP whites. I pop a med kit here, where it's up 200 HP. I don't have the, any, any extra shield, or nor do I have the best loot. But we do go up and fight. Here, I think Clicks get a, gets a beam on my teammate, so I start running at Clicks. There's so zero ping. I want 200 pump one. I have to run 150, and then I kill him. I mean, they just did not play that fight well. They shouldn't have just double ran at me. One could have played a right hand peek on the other wall and could have easily killed me. But I mean. I guess it was a free kill off spawn, so we guaranteed our um, our mythic thing. We knew that was the only team that landed there off spawn because that's the only team we saw in the air. So we insta killed the bot. If you guys want to see the clip of us, want me to end clicks and what he said, here's the clip. Let me Wow. Wow, bro. Wow, dude! Wow, dude! He just maxed his bow. It's the f***ing cheaters! It's the f***ing cheaters! Oh my god! But basically, we got the bot, we got the gun, we got the medallion. Uh, so let's go right into mid game. So after we, um... We looted off spawn. I was waiting to EMP for gold and stuff. I knew there were, like, I, we saw kids up there. Like, we saw the door open, so we knew that we're, there's probably kids here. Like, let me show you. So, here, this door was already opened, right? But, if the door is open, and there's, like, no builds here, and we knew that was the only, there was only one team that landed lavish, who in the world could have came here? Like, why would they not, why would they just run through it and just not, you know what I mean? So, there was, like, a 90% chance they were up here. So we go here, and then we smack on it. He sees him, he cracks one. And then we just insta-kill him. Other kid's 1 HP. I'm not gonna lie, Day put in the work here, he literally did so much damage. This guy kept on running, and running and running, but obviously he died eventually. Not gonna lie, they should not- that was not the best play, because... It would have been if it was like triple con. I didn't- I mean, they didn't know that, but... It was not the best play since there was only one other team there, and we just knew if the door is open there, it's just obvious you're camping that. And it, it's a good camp, but like, it's so like risky. You can't get out. It's just like 50 50, especially if it's your last game. It wasn't really worth it. But here, I'm just EMPing for gold so we can get max bigs again. I do this every single game if I don't already have everything I need. And usually, nine times out of ten, I need this. So yeah, let's move on to end game. So here, we were above on Surge. We heard these kids getting ticked in front of us, Surge. See so yeah, how they're med, med kidding? So I try to live Surge. They were not gonna live Surge. I think they died, I'm not sure. Yeah, they started running at us. So here, we're just vibing. We're just trying to get all the placement we can. We're not looking for any more kills. There's gonna be no point. Grapple, he tells me we're rotating. Uh, we were already in a good spot because we went center zone after we got a good amount of loot. My grappler bugged, I went zooming far. But I knew this was a decent spot because we were like the only ones at this spot where it's already almost mid zone. I told them get to me. Good spot. Especially when I wasted this many mats. And then those are cheaters right there on the other side of the wall. Nothing new. 
start spraying at a wall because it looks kind of free. Was it free? We knew this side, it would open up this side, so there's going to be nobody there, so it should be a free rotate if it pulls far. Keep in mind, we never get the storm capture, so we never know where next zone pulls. We just have to play the best we can. And then we see front is so free, but it pulls back, and he rotates this out, and I just grapple onto him. So here, he tells me we're going to edit the wall, we're going to grapple out to the left. Grapples. And then I follow him, I got hit for like 20, but it's all good. Here we still we had like five five four each I think, and we had good surge because we already knocked like killed like four kids at this point. And we saw that guy try to smack on our tops, so we went back. We dipped out. He was fully trying to fight it. I had to drop down. I got to him. He was one HP, and then I'm pretty sure you had to play a medkit here. Yeah, and then I dropped the medallion. It doesn't show that in replay for some reason, but I dropped medallion so you can just get elk, and then. He tells me, I'm pretty sure at this point, yeah, he tells me drop low. Here, we start getting, like, griefed on our mats, and then I'm gonna need to get a medkit soon. I didn't have much mats at all, I think, here. So I started popping big, I think. I don't remember. I don't think I could. And then he gets a kill here. I remember he got a kill here. This is a really good kill, because there was medkits on it, and he got the mats. Here, I think I had, like, zero builds on the dot. So he dropped me a medkit, he dropped me like 7 builds. So we're both popping medkit here. You see this guy? I had to cancel the medkit, I got the kill. And then I had a grapple front. Keep in mind, I only have 7 builds here. And then I had a... Show, bottom left. Uh, we All we needed this game was 40 points to qual. Uh, once we hit 40, we knew we called. Here, I'm just tarping ahead, that's all my builds, I had 0 left. I had no big pots either, and he had no med kit, so we knew we needed a refresh. Here, I wait for a second. He tells me to go here. We're gonna double kill this kid. He kills him, and then I see a kid's in zone. I kill this guy. And then I'm not sure if I got my finish. I think I did. And then we had 44. I knew we called here. So, I died here though, because he was 200 HP, he got the kill. And then he jumped in, and he played a medkit, I'm pretty sure. So here, my teammate got a medkit, I think, because this kid was scared or something. So he plays a medkit here, he knows we qual, we got 56, so it really didn't matter here. At this point, this is the best he could have done, because if he just ran out, he probably would have died, because he had, like, no build still. He tried going up, but, you know, he couldn't go up, it's all good. Ran at this kid, but he just ended up dying. And yep, basically, that's how you qualify for Duo Cash Cup Finals. As long as you get a, at least 20, 20 maybe, 20 kills your first game. Or your first few games, like whenever, like first three. First three, you need at least like a 120 bomb. And then, yeah, you just gotta play consistent. Get those like top fives, top fives, top fives, or top sixes. As long as you can change the top tens to top sixes and top fours, and some of them wins then you'll be able to do good consistently. But that's it for the video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Comment what videos I should do. Yeah, peace out.